Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Dance. I'm Office Blow Caden. I'm Gainer. Okay, some of the craziest fast food items of 2023 so far. Oh, can you think of anything that springs to mind? I no. can tell you something crazy about fast food. Oh, that these people might not know, but we just know. Popeyes have just opened their first store in Manchester. They have. Yeah. So watch out for us trying Popeyes for the very first. I don't think I've ever had Popeyes before. No, I've not. No, mainly chicken. So, right? That I think is like all chicken, just yeah. like KFC. I think it's like a KFC, yeah. yeah. But um, there was queues for, for it. They were giving away the first two guys that went in. I ain't queuing, mate. They got no, no, me neither. But the guys, two first two guys that got went got chicken for a year. Really? Three chicken for a year, yeah. And they're like, "What are you gonna have?" And he went, "Chicken." <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was like, "Okay." <laughs> I'd like to try yeah. it. Yeah, but we're gonna do that. We'll watch for the videos. Trying uh, Popeyes for the first time. Yes. Coming soon. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, this is ten craziest fast food items of twenty twenty three so far. Let's see what's on here. I think we deserve a little junk food after a workout we had this morning. From wild combinations that defy logic oh, to outrageous so portions that could feed a small army, these are the 10 craziest fast food items of 2023 so far. Uh, Burger King Real Cheeseburger. Well, I'll make you a very good, very traditional cheeseburger. Burger King in Thailand has just dropped a mind-blowing creation, the Real Cheeseburger. Yep, you heard that right. This one will leave you asking, where's the beef? No meat, just an epic towering mountain of 20 slices of good old American cheese yeah. packed between two buns. Because like you can't like have cheese. sliced cheese like that on its own. It no. doesn't taste right. That's, no. that's, that's like burger cheese. It is burger cheese. It's burger right. cheese. And also, they also have to put like mayonnaise or something on it. I'd have to have like brands to pick a little that. pick that's a lily. Grim. God's heard the prayers and granted patrons this dairy-packed delight. Launched officially on July 9th, the Real Cheeseburger was an instant hit and turned into an internet sensation in no time. Social media platforms, especially TikTok, were flooded with cheese-crazed customers that, sharing what? their I'm reactions and this. experiences with this dairy <coughs> creation. Burger King Thailand took to their own socials to assure everyone that, one, that this was the real himself. deal. And oh boy, they weren't kidding. At one BK outlet in the bustling city of Bangkok, the cheesy demand was so off the charts that they had to put a hold on delivery orders, reserving the stock exclusively for walk-in diners. Sure, wow. cheese is a hit with the young crowd in Thailand, but even they had to admit that this was taking it oh, a bit too far. Too much Insane cheese. Insane amount of cheese, one customer declared. They say food is all about the right combination, but this burger is making us question everything no. we thought we knew no, about no. burgers. I, say, I, mm. no. I love this burger, so delicious. It is Chipotle's cheese Chipotle's TikTok hack fajita quesadilla. Until they come to Chipotle trying to get an extra scoop or something, then y'all love me. This hack all started when two TikTok creators, Alexis Frost and Keith Lee, blew everyone's minds with their quesadilla wizardry. Their viral hack involved adding fajita veggies to the already mouth-watering Chipotle quesadillas. Alexis would order a steak quesadilla loaded with extra cheese and stuffed with those divine fajita toppings. Keith, not one to be outdone, put his twist on the hack. He concocted a Chipotle ranch dipping sauce by mixing their honey vinaigrette dressing with sour cream. Likes, comments, retweets, give them to me! Chipotle lovers took note and the demand for these creations skyrocketed. Fans from far and wide flocked to their nearest Chipotle locations, all eager to recreate these quesadillas. In response to the overwhelming popularity, oh, Chipotle oh, knew they had nice. to step up their game. The best, the best like Mexican food as well as quesadillas. I yeah. Think. I'm, I was before they started. Before I was thinking, what can I have for my dinner? I'm thinking we're gonna watch a food uh, channel here, and I'm thinking, what can I have for my dinner? And I saw something that I think I saw the Chipotle sign. I thought, yeah. oh, Mexican. Yeah. 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 So, as of March 2nd, 2023, Chipotle turned these epic TikTok hacks into a permanent menu item, the fajita quesadilla. Now you can officially order these flavor-packed delights through Chipotle's app or website. Papa John's Doritos do we? Cool no. Ranch Papa... What? We don't have Chipotle over here, do we? I'm pretty sure we do. We do? I thought I might have seen one before. Maybe in the Trafford Centre? Maybe. I don't remember seeing one. I don't one. recall seeing one. I feel like I remember my, like, seeing it on Deliveroo or something, or Just Eat. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen one. Oh, I might be wrong, I might be wrong. Yeah. I might just be like thinking of like Taco Bell or something. Padilla. Yeah. Because it's our first new crust in 40 years. Earlier this year, Papa John's upped their wow. game with an out of this world addition to their menu, the Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. Yeah, you heard that right. A pizza sandwich hybrid decked out with that iconic Cool Ranch flavor it's quite we all know flavor. And love. Now, let's talk Papadillas. These handheld flatbread style sandwiches made their debut in 2020, and they've been winning hearts ever since. Inspired by the Italian street food Piadina, these beauties boast Papa John's signature 
signature fresh pizza crust, making them the ultimate mashup of two delightful worlds, pizza and sandwiches. What uh, situation isn't improved by pizza? But let's get to the main attraction, the Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla. Developed under a drool-worthy partnership with PepsiCo, this bad boy can be filled with your choice of chicken, beef, steak, or any other no mouth-watering sure filling you fancy. And it here's where the really magic nice happens. Yeah. They toast these golden pockets to perfection and then sprinkle them with that bold ranch seasoning we all crave. Nice. Mm. The tangy taste with just a hint of sweetness had fans reaching for more. And just like when you're munching on Doritos, that Cool Ranch seasoning stuck to your fingers. Don't worry, go ahead and lick your fingers when no one's looking. No judgment here. The Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla was available off, from May 1st it? to July 23rd, and Cool Ranch lovers hope it makes a regular return. First time here? Well, don't be the only one on the block who isn't an official Babel Topper. Just hit that subscribe button to never miss out. Thanks, you're the best. Smash Burger, Smack and Cheeseburger. How about now? Too Mackey. See what it is? McDonald's brought one of our variant right of the Philly cheese stack. Yeah. yeah. Which was meant to be like some. But it's just a burger with extra cheese. Bur burgers in this country have gone up levels like to, to the roof because yeah. it's. They used to just be rubbish burgers. They were like just like. Proper like burgers you'd get like on a on a on a barbecue sort yeah, of like just burger, like frozen just frozen, one. like similar to like a frozen burger sort of style, mm. you know, like big thing. But now they've got the smash burgers, and the smash burgers when they come out, if you get a triple cheese smash burger, it's some of the best burgers you'll get yeah. because the flavouring on it is, is ridiculous. Yeah, the way it's all sort of like barbecued up and all that. Mm. So we had one. Where did we have that one from the other day? It was a triple smash burger. Yeah, it was from that new place. Yeah, and it was absolutely. Rubbish. It's probably it's, it's, it styles itself on American smash burgers. Yeah. It says, yeah. and it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. It was probably one of the best burgers I've had yeah, in a long I, time. I agree. Triple cheese smash burger. Yeah. Decent for it. Too yellow. Too bland. Back in the early days of 2023, comfort food enthusiasts were in for a treat as Smash Burger up their game with the mouth-watering Smack and Cheeseburger, a true yeah. game changer in the world of crazy fast food items. Picture it, a luscious certified Angus beef patty cooked to perfection, topped with the ultimate comfort food, mac and cheese. But wait, it gets even better. Smash Burger took it up a notch by smashing that mac and cheese on the grill, creating a heavenly crispy baked cheese layer. As if that wasn't enough, they added a slice of good old American cheese to complete the cheesy symphony, all snugly wrapped in a butter toasted artisan bun. But hold up, this one's not just for beef lovers. Smash Burger knows how to cater to all taste buds. Dinner with the enemy. And she made some really good smelling macaroni. You can add a scoop of their signature mac and cheese to any burger of your choice. Yes, that includes their crispy or grilled chicken patty or even the turkey or black bean burger. No one gets left behind in the quest for comfort food bliss. To make things even more exciting, Smash Burger celebrated the launch by giving fans a chance to score some limited edition macaroni shaped body pillows. Because who <laughs> wouldn't want a little extra comfort these days, right? Fans flooded Smash Burger's Instagram page for a chance to win these exclusive body pillows inspired by the Smack and Cheese Burger. But like all good things, this flavor packed creation was available for a limited time. Smash Burger lovers only had the pleasure of indulging in the Smack and Cheese Burger until March 6th, 2023. Taco Bell Volcano menu is back. I know it's late and it's dark, but I'm a grown adult and I want a taco. Hold on to your taste buds, spice enthusiasts, because Taco Bell took us on a flavor explosion back in the summer of 2023 with the triumphant return of the legendary Volcano menu. Taco Bell made everyone's spicy dreams come true by announcing the revival of some beloved items that had been absent from their menu for over two oh, decades. Good. The iconic <laughs> Volcano Burrito, the Fiery Volcano Taco, and the legendary Lava Sauce all made a grand comeback on June 29th. But hey, the excitement didn't stop there. Taco Bell Rewards members were in for a treat as they got to experience these spicy delights a couple of days before the general public could. <laughs> now, let's talk about the star of the show, the Volcano Taco. Back in 2008, it made its debut as a limited time release, but its fiery red taco shells filled with mouth-watering ground beef, crisp lettuce, and that spicy nacho cheese wonder called lava sauce left a lasting impression on fans. In fact, this tantalizingly spicy menu had developed a cult-like following over the years, with fans passionately expressing their love and nostalgia for it. An online petition titled Bring Back Volcano Menu even gathered over 1,800 wow. signatures yeah. pleading yeah. for its yeah. return. I'd Looks like that. it works. I just walked into a Taco Bell and thought, I'm here to make good decisions. 
Little Caesars Pretzel Crust Pizza. Cheesy goodness delivered to you in 30 minutes or it's free! For April Fool's Day, Little Caesars had us all scratching our heads with the announcement of a corn cob crust pizza. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> odd. A pizza oh, no. with a crust made of hearty American grown corn and drenched in a well, two liter bottle Fool's. of liquefied butter. But as oh. it turned out, it was all just a clever prank. Instead, they delighted us with some real exciting news the highly anticipated oh, return yeah. of the beloved pretzel April crust Fool's. pizza to their Canadian restaurants in 2023. I I turn to him and I say, these pretzels, pretzels are, are making, making me thirsty. thirsty. Last seen on the menu back in 2018, the pretzel crust pizza was a true delight for pizza aficionados. And this pizza was not messing around. Its defining feature was the pretzel cornicione, the fancy pizza maker term for the outer ring of crust. And let's not forget the generous sprinkling of pretzel salt that took the flavor to a whole new level. But that's pretzel not salt. all, folks. The toppings were equally on point. That Instead of traditional nice, though, tomato yeah. sauce, it flaunted a rich and creamy cheese sauce base, topped with mozzarella Whoa. and pepperoni. And for those now looking to take it up sauce. a notch, they even had the option to upgrade to a cheese stuffed crust. Talk about indulgence. Chick-fil-A's cauliflower sandwich. Oh, well, cauliflower is not traditional, Dad. Known for their iconic chicken sandwich, Chick-fil-A decided to venture into new territory by testing their first ever plant-forward entree. And boy, did they make heads turn. This cauliflower sensation was introduced in select markets, leaving curious taste buds in anticipation. The Chick-fil-A cauliflower sandwich was a plant-based wonder, featuring a tender filet cut from a whole, real cauliflower. Just like its chicken counterpart, the cauliflower was marinated, breaded with Chick-fil-A's signature seasoning, pressure cooked to perfection, and served on a toasted buttery bun, complete with two dill pickle chips. Who would have thought cauliflower could step up as the hero of a sandwich? Chick-fil-A didn't just That's throw this right. sandwich no. together willy-nilly. They explored every nook and cranny of the plant-based realm to find the ideal sandwich. That's how when we got, like, Domino's or whatever, or, like, Papa John's. And mum got like loads of like what I thought were like small chicken bites, but actually cauliflower bites. Yeah. And I was like, what are these? She was like, yeah, just. Since she told me there was chicken. Yeah, I think so she the did. the chicken nuggets? But, but you ate chicken, them. No, no, I, no, I ate like two of them. was like, these aren't chicken or something like that. <laughs> but you like, like them. You just wanted to admit it when I said they were cauliflower. Nah, I don't think I did like them. <laughs> Never for their plant forward entree. And after years actually. of experimentation, the Chick fil A cauliflower sandwich was born, drawing inspiration from the classic Chick fil A chicken sandwich that we all know and love. Buffalo Whether you're a vegetarian, a veggie enthusiast, or simply craving something different, this cauliflower creation proved that Chick fil A can cater to all palates. Tell me that don't smell good. Wendy's ghost pepper sandwich and fries. Ooh, ooh. You can do that. I don't know, Willie's really smart. In the month of May 2023, Wendy's was back with a sizzle, introducing not one, but two blazing hot menu items that had spice enthusiasts rejoicing. The Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich and the revamped Ghost Pepper Fries. Known for their delectable fast food offerings, Wendy's decided to turn up the heat try. with the scorching yep. ghost pepper. For those not in the know, the ghost pepper is one of the world's spiciest peppers, boasting a mind-boggling 1 million Scoville heat units, making it approximately 200 times hotter than a jalapeno. Mm, very Easy. hot. Nobody else lives to burn it. And just like its name <laughs> suggests, the heat sneaks up on you like a ghost, filling your entire mouth with burning spice. Wendy's recognized that the ghost pepper was a fan favorite for those who crave spicy food, and thus the Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich was born. This fiery creation featured Wendy's signature crispy chicken with the addition of crispy ghost pepper fried onions, ghost pepper American cheese, and a ghost pepper ranch sauce, all lovingly sandwiched between a classic bun with cooling lettuce and tomato. Talk about a three-way punch of heat! But Wendy's didn't stop there. They knew the perfect companion to their ghost pepper sandwich was none other than their fan favorite hot and crispy fries. The ghost pepper fries were an absolute delight yeah. for spice aficionados as Wendy's drenched their it. crispy skin on fries with a buttery, <laughs> spicy ghost pepper sauce, turning these fries into a spicy masterpiece. Can't get enough of these crazy fast foods? Let us know and hit that like yeah. button. Well, what now, we say? Uh, we decided on Mexican for tonight. Yeah. 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 And upward. <laughs> Shake Shack's Bourbon Bacon Jam Burger. May I suggest a drink, sir? Bourbon, perhaps. Back in May 2022, Shake Shack graced us with a mouth-watering creation, the Bourbon Bacon Jam Burger, but it didn't stick around. And after a brief hiatus, this flavor sensation made a triumphant mm, return sure for that. a limited time in 2023. I used to love Shake Available Shack. at all U.S. locations except airports and stadiums. 
With its return announced via the chain's Instagram account, Shake Shack's bourbon bacon jam burger was a decadent delight that left taste buds tingling with excitement. Partnering with Maker's Mark Bourbon, they crafted a sweet and savory bourbon bacon jam that took center stage in this burger masterpiece. Alongside classic American cheese, shack sauce, and crispy onions, the burger was a symphony of flavors on Shake Shack's signature non-GMO potato bun and 100% all-natural Angus beef. The secret to their irresistible bourbon bacon jam lay in the Maker's Mark Kentucky bourbon, aged for six years, Go boasting delightful radio. notes of vanilla, caramel, and oak. And the applewood smoked bacon, smoked for a full six hours, added a divine touch of smokiness to the ensemble. Bourbon and poor choices. KFC Double Down is back. Pardon? It's it just like KFC. No, it's not a thing over there, but I used to have it's it in the all the time. Yeah. Nubby Dubby, yeah. Mm. KFC, What's known this? for its finger-licking good fried chicken, took the world by storm with the Double Down back in 2010. This audacious creation dared to replace the bread found in a typical sandwich with two fried chicken fillets as the buns. What? Oh yes, wow. this is not a dream. Chicken buns. Two slices of cheese, crispy bacon strips, and the choice of mayo or spice sauce served as the filling. The Double Down was undeniably a hot topic during its initial run, garnering attention for its bold and unconventional okay. approach to sandwich making. While it may not have been a sales powerhouse, KFC proudly claimed that it generated more buzz than any other yeah, item sure in their history. That, I don't think However, like that. KFC no, couldn't ignore the fervent calls from fans who were craving the return of this iconic sandwich. So, in response to the overwhelming mean demand, they decide to bring back the double down, letting the world indulge in this extraordinary taste experience once more for a limited time. Welcome to Colonel's Fried Chicken. Unfortunately, we are out of chicken at the moment. We've always got more on our menu. Just tap or click Re on another Remember when that happened and like everyone started yeah. calling the police and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went a bit crazy over there, didn't it? Yeah, that's a yeah, so put on the radio. Like, if, if you're trying to go to KFC and there's no chicken, don't call the police. It's not an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> not as fun, yeah. please. Yeah. There's some, uh, I'm just looking around and scanning around them, um, some of the logos for when we go to the USA yeah. uh, next month. Well, we Waffle used to go to with the Roadhouse. Some of them I didn't, I've never even heard We've of. We've been to Roadhouse. I don't think the original Roadhouse crew, we went to Texas Roadhouse that we go yeah. to, I think it was called. Um, like, I've never heard of Smash Burgers. No, I haven't. Smash no. Burger, no. But we're going we're gonna to go with the Waffle House when we go. Yeah. Try the Waffle really House. Try IHOP yeah. and stuff like that. IHOP. We've done yeah. I, I've done IHOP before. Yeah. The International House of Pancakes. Yep. But we will give it a shot anyway. Yeah. So keep your eye out for us on our USA trip in November. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.